In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a modern and beautiful CV or resume. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. The tool we are gonna use today to create a resume is called Adobe Express. So you need to go to the link you are seeing on the screen right now. If you already have an Adobe account, then type your email and password to log in. But if you don't have one, then click on create account. You need to put your email address and a new password. Click on continue. Type your first name, last name, and date of birth. Click on create account. After that, it'll take you to a little survey. You can select any options here, it doesn't really matter. Now this is the home page and you can do a lot of things here. Before we proceed further, I'd like to request you to please subscribe to my channel which will keep me motivated in creating more helpful videos for you. Alright, from the left menu, you need to click on the explore tab. You can also use this search bar to search for something specific. But I'm gonna scroll down just to tell you how to navigate through the website. Here you have a specific category for resume. Click on view all and it's gonna show all the available resume templates. You can also use these filters on the left sidebar to narrow down your search results. Now you can scroll down and see many different designs here. I'm looking for a modern style template to explain how it works, but you can choose a more simple design if you want. I like this one. Click on customize template and it's gonna create a new file. Now let's talk about how to edit this template. You can press and hold the control key and then move your mouse wheel back and forth to zoom in and out. You can also change the zoom size from here. You can see all the layers on the right side. If I zoom in and click on this text, then it's gonna open the text settings on the left side bar. I'm gonna double click on it and type my name. Double click on this one and type my text. I'm gonna press and hold the shift key then click on both the text to select them both. Click on this align button and I'm gonna align both of these to the left side. I'll just move it a little bit and make it smaller. That's it. When I click on an element then it's gonna go to that particular layer automatically. Double click on it and I'm gonna put my position here. If you want to change the color of the text then here you can find the fill option. You can use all these settings to change the text as you want. Next, I want to put my photo on it. So first, I'll click on this photo. You can see it has selected this layer. I'm gonna press the delete key to delete it. Now I'm gonna drag my photo from my file explorer directly into Adobe Express. And there it is. I'm gonna scale it down. Move it here, then click on this crop button. Now you can choose your desired frame from here. But I'm gonna make it a circle. Click outside. Select and move it. Then drag from the edges to make it bigger. Looks great. Now I want these stars to be above the photo. So I'm gonna click on it. And it'll go to this particular layer. I'm gonna select and drag this layer above the photo layer. And now it's above my photo. There's also another way to do this. If I select this star and right click on it. Then select bring to front. And you can see it above the photo now. Next, I'm gonna put a little description about me. I'm gonna copy and paste it here. My text is a bit larger in length, so I'll decrease the font size from here to make it fit in the available space. I'll move it a little bit. Next in the education, you can change the start and end date according to you. Just double click on it and change the text. You can change these skills names as you want. If you want to change this rating then click on it. And it's actually a group of 4 layers. Double click on it. And now I'm inside this group. I'm gonna select this circle. Click on this fill option. And you can select your desired color. You can put your custom color in here. Or use this eyedropper tool to pick a color from the other layers. And that's it. Next, you can input your work experience according to you. The process is the same. Double click on it and change the text. I'm gonna change this to my email address. If you want to place some extra information or want to duplicate something, then select those elements by pressing the shift key. 
Then release the Shift key and press and hold the Alt key. Simply move the layers and it will create a duplicate. I'm gonna place it here. Then double click and change the text. Press the Ctrl key and move your mouse wheel backwards to zoom out. Next, I want to change this background color. So I'm gonna zoom in to see what's going on here. Click on it and you can see it's a separate circle. This pattern is also on a separate layer. And the black background is also a separate layer. Now you can change the color of each element separately from the left sidebar. But there's also a shortcut to do this quickly. Click on this theme option. And here you can see a lot of built-in color palettes. Select anyone and you can see it automatically applied on the right side. If I scroll up, then you can see it added as a page theme. Now things start getting crazier. If I press the shuffle button, then it's gonna try to make different color combinations using the same colors. Another thing, if you click on view all, then you can explore more color themes from that particular category. If you want to undo something, then you can either press Ctrl plus Z keys or use this button to go back to the previous versions. Alright, in case you need more than one pages to cover your information, then click on this button right here. Here you can manage your pages. I'm gonna click on these three dots and make a duplicate of this page. You can also add a blank page if you want and delete a page as well. I'm gonna open the second page by simply double clicking on it. You can see the page number right here. Now I don't want my photo, title or description on the second page. So I'm simply gonna select each element and press the delete key. I also don't need these shapes. I'll move this star to the top. Looks good. I'll move this text here and drag it from one side to cover the full width and then you can change it to your desired text. I'm gonna select this title layers, move it upward and change it to some different heading. Press the Alt key to make a duplicate of this layer. And then you can input your required text in here. You can also make it bullet points if you want, depends on how you want to do the formatting. You can also add your own text manually and change these settings as you want. I'll move this heading upward to align with the heading on the right side. I'll just add one more bullet point to cover this spacing. Next I'm gonna select this information. But it's also selecting this background layers. So I'm gonna press and hold the shift key and then drag my mouse over the background layers to exclude them from the selection. Now it's only selecting this text information. I'll drag it upward to align. And that's it. You can go to the previous page from this button. Once done, click on this download button. You can either download the selected page or download all the pages. Next, you can select the format in which you want to download. I'm gonna select PDF. You can also download each page as a separate PDF, which I don't want in this case. Then click on the download button. It's downloaded. Let me open it to see how it looks. And that looks pretty great. Very professional and high quality. If this video was helpful then please give it a like and subscribe so I can keep on making more videos for you. Now in this video, I comprehensively covered everything you need to know to create a CV or resume. You can use these techniques to input your information and make a template your own. But if you want a complete guidance on how to use Adobe Express then I have a good news for you. I have a complete free course on Adobe Express that you can see on the screen right now. I'll see you there. Take care.